What we're going to look at briefly here is a video of Centaurus A. Centaurus A is uh, a large galaxy. It's one of the closest and brightest galaxies uh, that we can see. So this is just a brief tour of Centaurus A. There is nothing subtle about the black hole in the galaxy Centaurus A. First off, it's about 10 million times more massive than the sun. And Chandra's x-ray image shows it's not just sitting quietly at a bright point in the middle. Instead, the monster black hole is responsible for powering massive jets, including one that extends to the upper left for some 13,000 light years. Radio data also show the effect of these jets far beyond the plane of the galaxy. An image in optical light shows the elliptical galaxy and the dark bands running almost perpendicular to the jet. These are caused by dust lanes created when Centaurus A merged with another galaxy perhaps 100 million years ago. The combination from all of these telescopes shows us just how much is really going on in Centaurus A. So, Centaurus A. We have all sorts of pictures of Centaurus A. This is a picture of Centaurus A. Uh, we'll talk about the black hole in just a moment. Now, this is a picture of Centaurus A in the optical range. This is a picture of the infrared uh, light coming off of Centaurus A. And this is a picture of the X-ray spectrum coming off of Centaurus A. This is a picture of the X-ray electromagnetic waves. This is a picture of the X-ray waves coming out of Centaurus A. This <laughs> is a picture <laughs> that you can see of the X-ray radiation, the X-ray electromagnetic waves coming off of, coming out of the Centaurus A galaxy. I should have a bunch of people raising hands right now and asking me questions. Right now, for after what I just said, Mr. Lowe. Uh, how can we see the X-rays? If this were a picture of the electromagnetic waves in the X-ray spectrum class, what would it look like to you? Black. It would be black. But you wouldn't see anything. So more correctly stated, this is a wavelength shifted picture of the X-ray radiation. Now, what they've done is they have a telescope that can detect X-ray radiation. And they have shifted the wavelength into a visible range so that we can see it. Same is true of this, the infrared. Note how they made it red for us. Okay? But it's not really red. We can't see it. Again, X-ray, infrared, this is what it actually looks like. What's interesting about this is what's missing. They were talking about the black hole. There is a black hole in the center of Centaurus A. As, there, as, we can, as far as we can tell, there is in the middle of every giant galaxy. And what's happening is it's ejecting a whole bunch of electromagnetic waves out the ends of this spinning black hole. But we don't see them in the visible range. We see them in the X-ray range and the radio range. C term there. We see them using telescopes. Okay. So this is actually what's called a false color composite. It takes all of the pictures that we've taken in various electromagnetic wave uh, spectrums and we combine them all into stuff that we can see. And it makes a beautiful image. Look at how cool that is. But unfortunately, this is what we would see. This gives us a heck of a lot more information because they color coded it to, to various different uh, wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. But this is more accurate, a more accurate picture of what you would actually see. 